What's up guys, my name is Ace, and it's been quite some time since we talked about X Defiant on this channel. However, within the past week or so, there's been a handful of updates that are meaningful enough that I decided it's worth making another video about this. So I'm going to be sharing what's currently going on with X Defiant, why it's been taking so long, as well as my thoughts on the situation toward the end of the video. And without further ado, let's dive right into this. X Defiant is a game that was meant to be launching late last summer. That was the initial intended release window. We had a playtest and a beta for it, and it seemed like we were really leading up to launch. However, the game has been delayed for quite some time. Many of us were expecting it to come out this spring, and still it's not here, and we still don't have an official release date. But about a week ago, Mark Rubin on Twitter did talk about many things that are going on, explained some of the delays, and then just a couple days ago, we got a full-on official statement from the X Defiant team. But before we get into that part, let's talk about these delays. What has been causing these delays with X Defiant? And it turns out, according to Mark Rubin, what they found is their netcode as well as their party system just crumbled at scale. So with the smaller playtests where it wasn't available to everybody in the community, things were generally working just fine and as far as they were aware, things were going well until they scaled it up and that led to a lot of issues. Additionally, he mentioned one of his tweets here that some of the netcode issues were actually due to the increased anti-cheat, which you obviously don't need with like internal play tests, for instance. So that's something that has also hurt performance. And apparently all of this time has just been focused on working on fixing the technical issues relating to the netcode as well as the party system because it just wasn't working properly at scale. And also, according to this tweet, not much has changed from a gameplay standpoint since those earlier play tests. And now that we have that covered, let's get into the official statement that was released by X Defiant. And I'm not going to read through the entire thing word for word, but we'll go section by section here. And the first key bit of information that revealed here is they actually hope to go live with the game by the end of March, which we're obviously right at the end of March right now, so that didn't end up happening. And they say there are still some improvements that we need to test before they're able to go live. And therefore, they're currently finishing preparation for a 12-hour server test session that will be worldwide on PS5, Xbox Series X, and S, as well as PC. So not the older gen consoles, just the current gen consoles and PC. And this test is designed to stress test their service and get critical data to prepare for launch. So essentially, they're going to be testing out the new netcode they've been working on for all of these months. And then they go on to say, after this test, they expect to be able to lock in a launch date and start sharing more about the content that X Defiant will offer in the future. Now, unfortunately, at this point, we don't have an exact time frame for when that 12-hour server test is going to be happening. But the fact that they mentioned they're finishing the preparation for that means to me that we're likely going to be hearing about this at least within the next couple of weeks or so. And then once that takes place, hopefully everything goes smooth with that. Hopefully they get some valuable data and then we can get our launch date from there. However, if things don't go smooth during that test, then who knows what's going to happen when it comes to the launch of this game and when it will actually launch. As for the test itself, a 12-hour server test seems pretty short to me, so not everybody is going to be able to find the time to participate in that, which is a bit unfortunate, but to me, it really sounds like this isn't designed to be like a demo or a beta for the game, and instead, this is literally just designed so they can collect data and perhaps make some adjustments based on that data that they collect so that we get a smoother launch. So that's where we're at with that, and just monitoring the response to this, it does seem that the frustration in the community for X Defiant is quite high. And I'm not sure this statement did a whole lot to help with that, especially because we didn't even get a specific date or time frame as to when we can expect this server test even to go live, let alone a launch date for the game. And when it comes to my thoughts on this whole delay situation, personally, I'm still excited to get my hands on this game. I am still looking forward to the launch of X Defiant, and I'm looking forward to hopefully taking part in this 12-hour server test as well. Hopefully that time window works out so that I can actually get on and play it. So I haven't completely given up hope for this game or anything, but at the same time, I definitely understand and am experiencing a lot of the frustration that the community seems to be experiencing as well. I think for many of us, we just want to know generally when we can expect this game to be coming out. But unfortunately, on their end, it doesn't seem like they're currently in a position to where they can confidently provide that answer to us. And as much as I understand where they're coming from with that, it still doesn't change the fact that it is kind of harming the hype for this game. And I think much of that hype and momentum that X Defiant had shortly after the beta and the playtest from last year, a lot of that has faded away over time, and many people's confidence in this game has also been fading with that. Now, at the end of the day, I would much rather they take their time and at least ensure that they've got the fundamentals like netcode under control and working well for launch. These days, it seems games can launch with a handful of bugs and issues and some missing features as well, as long as they're minor features, and that game can still succeed because those things just kind of get fixed over time after launch. 
In saying that though, if the fundamentals like the netcode, for instance, aren't in order at the launch of the game, and it's not fixed within just like a few days, that's the type of thing that can immediately kill a game before it really has a chance to even get any traction and take off. And I really don't want to see that happen with X Defiant. So I think in the long run, it is important for them to make sure those fundamentals are really well taken care of before the game launches. And I'd rather be frustrated waiting for a launch date or a launch window for this game than have them drop it in a state where the fundamentals aren't working properly and then it just dies immediately and we forget about it a month later. As much as I still don't really see this game taking over as my primary game that I play, I definitely still want X Defiant to succeed. I want there to be as much viable competition in the FPS space as possible because the more competition there is, the better it's going to be for us as players. So this is why, for me at least, I can still be patient with X Defiance. It will come when it comes, and I just hope that when it does eventually come, at least the fundamentals will be very, very solid, and then they can build off of that from there. However, this leads me into another fairly big concern that I have right now when it comes to X Defiance, and this is the current state of Call of Duty, as well as the direction that Call of Duty seems to be going in. Last year with X Defiant, when the hype was at its peak, a lot of that hype, at least for many of us dedicated Call of Duty fans, came from just how frustrated we were with the direction that they took Modern Warfare 2 in, and the direction they've been taking the general franchise in, I feel like, for many years. Many of the decisions they'd been making and really stubbornly sticking to with Call of Duty, and especially Modern Warfare 2, it really seemed to push a lot of the loyal, dedicated Call of Duty base away from Call of Duty, and X Defiant seemed like it was going to be a very promising escape from that. And honestly, I do think that's where a lot of the hype for this game originated, was just people looking for an escape from what Call of Duty seemed to be turning into. Now, I can't speak for everyone here, and I know opinions will definitely vary, but for me, and also for many people I've heard from, Modern Warfare 3 has really turned a lot of things around from the issues that we had in Modern Warfare 2, and at the moment, I'm not looking nearly as much into wanting to escape the current state of Call of Duty. I'm actually quite happy with how they've been handling and supporting Modern Warfare 3, and compared to my feelings this time last year with Modern Warfare 2, I'm actually quite content with Modern Warfare 3. I'm quite happy with the direction things have been going, and I think it just keeps getting better and better over time, despite the fact that there are still, of course, issues with the game. And as a result, the current hype level I have for X Defiant this year isn't quite as high as it was last year when I was really looking for some way to branch out and escape. And to top that off, the Call of Duty that we're expecting later this year, COD 2024, for me, the anticipation for this one is higher than it's been for several years in Call of Duty. Not only is this a Treyarch Call of Duty, and I personally really like how Treyarch handles Call of Duty, but on top of that, in Call of Duty terms at least, they've had a very long development time for this, and as a result, my expectations are actually quite high for this year's Call of Duty game, and I can't say the same for recent games in the franchise. So this is just another concern that I have with X Defiant. I think last year was the absolute perfect time, because at least for many Call of Duty players, that was the lowest of lows with that franchise, and we were just looking for any escape possible. Whereas this year, I'm not really looking to escape nearly as much, and a lot of my hope for the Call of Duty franchise has actually been restored with how they've been handling Modern Warfare 3, and with that anticipation of Treyarch's next COD. Now, does that mean that I'm not even going to check out Exify? Of course not. Like I said at the beginning, I am still looking forward to this game. I'm going to be grinding it fairly hard when it first comes out. I may make some content on it as well. But I just wanted to point out, I feel like they definitely missed that peak hype window. And that is unfortunate, but who knows? Maybe this is the type of thing where once they eventually get that launch window locked in, they start marketing this game, maybe all of this frustration that's been building up over time will just fade away and the excitement will just start building up again. Who knows? Time will tell on this. All I hope for is that X Defiant will launch in a good state and will be successful long term. But for now, unfortunately, all we can really do is wait. And with that, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. And this is where I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. How are you feeling about X Defiant at the moment? Are you looking forward to this game? Were you hyped initially and has that hype completely faded? Just let me know all of those thoughts down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.